Hi, I'm Michael Ullman, owner of Ullman Precision Products. Today I'd like to give a little demonstration of how to use the Titan power checkering machine. Now it can be set up to power pneumatically or with an electric micromotor or we can make a Fordham attachment for it. I personally use a pneumatic system so you'll see I have a little tape that's holding the bleed off valve hose that comes up here. I have a constant stream of air that blows all my sawdust away for me while I'm checkering. Now when we start checkering these directions are for someone that's using a right-handed machine. If you're using a left-handed machine it'll be opposite. But when you first start we're going to start and work from our right and go to our less left on our first pass. After that, all passes after that, we're going to go left to right. Now, I've already set up this tool to cut 22 lines to the inch, and we've got a basic checkering job here that we're doing. It's just a two points on each end pattern. The two points on this end are established with our master lines, and the other two points will be established at the end point as we build across this. Now I've already cut the lines to depths. We used a 5 8 inch number one cutter and we, we've cut our master lines in and we're ready to begin checkering. When you first start, it's best to cut on the pull, just like this, on each line. That's a conventional cut that you're making and it's easy to control. So we'll keep going and making some more lines. Okay, so we've cut this angle here. We need to flip, and now we'll cut this direction and establish those lines. Well, now we're going to cut this second set of lines, and we'll also establish the top point up here. Now you'll notice, you'll notice that I just made a climbing cut, which you can do with the Titan, but you have to be careful doing it. It takes a little bit of practice, but it saves you time. You can make a downward cut and an upward cut all the while. Okay, we finished that. I'm going to flip the stock. And I'll cut this. And I'll cut the opposite direction and establish this final point here. Okay. We just need to do this little bit of the point here. All right, we'll flip the stock one more time and then we'll have the pattern laid out. Okay, all we have left now is this little bit here and then the pattern will be completely established.
Okay, you can see the patterns laid out. Now, from now on, we're going to work from left to right on every pass after, because if we don't, we'll get double lining on the top of our diamonds. So we're going to start by working up here and working all the way across for a second pass over every line in this direction. Okay, we'll change and we'll go this direction. Okay, so we've got the second pass now on all the lines going this direction. And again, we're working from left to right. So we're gonna start in this corner and just work our way out. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to take shape. And at this point, we probably would finish off by hand. You can't do the edges with the machine. You need to do those by hand. And you need to make sure your borders are evened up. And if you had any correct, any overruns, make sure your points are complete. Um, but at this point, we'll call it done with the power checkering machine.